Well, hello there, boys and girls, ladies and gents and members of the Big Red Army. It's your boy, Big Red, back for another gas station grubbing. I found another gas station with food. Anyway, we're at our local, I don't know if you can see it back there. The sign's over there. It's rainy and all of that goodness. We're at Raceway. And there's they subletting, it looks like, um, to a place, to, to a little mom and pop thing inside. It's called Los Tacos. So we're going to go inside and see what it's all about. I'll see you when I get back. Hopefully they open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I just dropped my kid off at school about an hour ago, ran an errand, and I saw this place. So here we go. All right, so we're back. And we got us some tacos. And it looks like a little, like like I thought, they sublet it out. I, I saw the sign when I pulled up. There's no parking right in front because everybody's parked. But I'm looking at it. It says authentic Mexican food. And boy, is it authentic. I didn't get none of this because maybe I'll do another episode of this. Not only do they do breakfast tacos, they're doing lunch tacos and burritos at freaking, I don't know what time it is. Let me start the car and see. It is, let me load a radio because I don't want to get uh, no, uh... all right, let's see here real quick. Let's see what time it is. It's, uh, it's nine, almost nine o'clock. It ain't even nine o'clock yet. It's uh, 8.52, so in the morning. So we got some tacos for breakfast. So let me put y'all up here, and let me tell you how authentic it is. Half the stuff, I didn't even know what the hell it was. I asked the lady, what's that? And she said, it's tongue. So maybe we'll do some tongue next time. But we're going to put y'all up in y'all little spot spot. We're going to kill the engine, because I ain't wasting my gas, because I'm pulling white trash. And, and after I eat this, I'll have some gas. I'll be... I'll have some gas after this. But I got uh, chicken, and when I ask for the chicken, she goes, pollo. So, so they barely spoke English, you know? And I told her... Uh, grande rojo muy poquito espanol. She goes, no problem, no problem. She started speaking some some English, English. So we got us, and and you could tell a little mom and pop place. It's just a little tin foil. It's a dollar ninety nine per taco. So, but look at that. That that's the spicy. Oops, y'all can't see that. That's the spicy chicken. I mean, you can't even close this thing, yo. And I got some cheese and I got some salsa in there. But let's see. Let's just. Give this a go. I mean, this is going to be messy. It's got red sauce all in it. This is the spicy chicken. I got regular chicken, spicy chicken, and beef fajita. Okay, okay. You could have got two different kind of... Two different kind of... Um, what you call them? Two different kind of... Salsas, they got salsa verde and the salsa rojo. If y'all don't know what that is, it's green salsa or red salsa. Mm. Chicken's a little tough. But the flavor is out of this world. It's little chunks of chicken. It's like they overcooked the chicken but the sauce that it's in is holy smokes it's amazing I got like three different kind of beef I got fajita chicken fajita beef tongue and I don't know if it's pork tongue cow tongue I'm assuming it's cow um, that spicy chicken. They have beef, boca loca, something like that, bacalaca, Barack Obama. I don't know what it was, some kind of beef. I didn't opt for that, I got the regular fajita beef. If the chicken was a little more tender, this would be freaking amazing. It's great flavor. Mm-hmm. I 
And it's not so much that it was a sauce that it was in. It was more like a liquid. And y'all can see it right there. It's real liquidy. So it's more like it was sitting in a... Like a stew. And I just got my tea from Whataburger. I went through the drive-thru and got some some tea, because I saw this place and I was like, well, let me go over there and see if they got some food, but I didn't want to get a soft drink, I just wanted some tea, and I know that Whataburger has good tea. Alright, so this is the, this is the chicken fajita, there you go, not as much, not as much on it, well, maybe, yeah. look like they probably... This one's real, real dry. Real overcooked. I mean, it's dried out. Not very flavorful. This one not so good. This is like the same overcooked chicken. With no sauce. Not so good. Yeah, this is real tough to get down. I think I'm damn near out of tea. I went from way up here to way down here with this one. Mm. Overcooked for sure. And it's still a lot of my food, but man, this chicken is dry. It's a little tough. And you can tell it's white meat chicken. But man, overcooked to hell. I would have gotten eggs, but it looks like they've been sitting out a little minute. They got two little benches in there. I could have eaten in there. But they have music playing, and I don't know how the whole YouTube and music thing works. I'm a boy, no.
Yeah, this one wasn't too good. I don't think even salsa, rojo or salsa verde would have helped that. Now let's get into this beef. See, I'm getting three, three reviews in one. Because I'm reviewing the chicken, spicy chicken, and the beef fajita. Let me show y'all this. That's a lot of beef. Mm-hmm. For, for a dollar taco. Damn sure, they probably use the cheapest cut of beef or the cheapest chicken. And they overcook it to hell. So, let's see if this is any, if this is beef is tough or if this is tender. You can tell it's a real cheap cut of meat. Um, it's in between tough and tender, so it's tahenda. I don't know. Flavor wise, not so good. Could have used a little more in the flavor department. Pretty greasy. Part of it's kind of chewy. I don't know why people overcook stuff. I guess it's better than being undercooked, but I mean, there's that fine line between overcooked and just right, and they seem to have crossed that line. It's got onions and it looks like red bell pepper in here, but very little. I mean, it's all in a, on a steam table and they just take tongs and they pull it out and slap it on your tortilla. I'm sure glad I didn't opt for the burrito because the burrito I said it's a big burrito, but it's $7.99. These were three. I get to try three different flavors for damn near the same price. $1.99 a piece. That's six bucks. Plus tax. Still come out a little cheaper. Try three instead of one. The spicy chicken wasn't that spicy. I mean, it had a little spice to it, but not a lot. More flavor than spice. Again, beef a little overdone. Not much, but just a little. Cheap cut of meat, overcooked. I mean, you could take a cheap cut of meat and tenderize it. You know, you could cook it tender. So. Let's see. Okay, so how do we 
got that all the way settled down to the bottom. Let's see if we can't get this back on and hopefully get a little sip of drink. That seems to be the last of that to the ice melt. All right, so let's go right ahead and rate this stuff here. Um, Raceway for your sublet Los Tacos. I guess mostly it's Los Tacos because it's the little people that that do it, but it's inside this subway here right off of on 2920 and 45, Interstate 45. Um, let's go ahead and rate all three and then try to give it an overall. The first one, that spicy chicken, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all probably, let, let me go with that 3.75. 3.75. Y'all would have gotten a little higher had it not been so dry. Flavor-wise, wasn't bad. Uh, the people inside were friendly, so that's a plus. So yeah, 3.75 on that one. The regular chicken fajita, I'm going to have to give y'all a 2.75. Again, could have been a little higher if that chicken wouldn't have been overcooked. Um, The beef fajita... I'm just going to go right in the middle of the road and give y'all that three. Three flip-flops for that beef. Uh, no, not even three. I'm going to go with 2.75 on that as well. 2.75 for that. I mean, the, the beef was a little greasy, and it was a little, it was cheap cut of meat. I mean, I, I get it. It was only $1.99, but it was still a cheap cut of meat that was cooked poorly. It was overcooked to hell. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I just, if it wasn't so tough, y'all could have gotten a little better score. Um, but, yeah, that's that's what I'm giving y'all. 2.75 for the, the, the beef fajita, chicken fajita, and a 3.75 for that, uh, that old, uh, what you call it, that uh, spicy chicken. I wish it would have been a little more spicy and a little more tender. Other than that, yeah, it wasn't terrible. Um, there you have it, boys and girls. So, overall experience, we're just going to leave it at a 3. You know, the two, the two point, the two, two point seven fives and the one, three point seven five. We take the, the, the three point seven, the, the point, five, point two five from that, add it to that, two point five, add it to that, and we bring everything up to a grand total of three. Look at like that, right in the middle of the road. Um, over there is that subscription button. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Yo, this is free entertainment. You see a fat guy eating in this car. The next that's that notification bell. Click that ding a ling a ling. You'll be notified when I have new content over here. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It doesn't matter. Pop, pop. Hit me with one real quick. Little quick jab to the jaw. And you know, it just lets me know you're watching. We like these better, though. And then, there's also the description box down below where it's got a description of the video. Links to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Link to this channel's homepage where you can find all the older content. If you like the gas station grubbing... I got it separated for you. You like the fast food, fat man? I got it separated for you. Make life easy peasy and Japanesey for you. Life's hard enough. Watching this fat ginger eat on YouTube shouldn't make your life any harder. No, so we do that for you. We separate it for you. It's all for you. Anyway, there's also a link to my friend's t-shirt website where you can purchase yourself some big red show t-shirts, dark side of red t-shirts, uh, you could get something custom made if you want. It doesn't matter. I got this custom made. Look at this. It's the Paper Street Soap Company. What do y'all know about, uh, oh, look at that. The bird nest bib working. Look at that. And they got a bird nest bib t-shirt on, on the old, on the old interwebs on my friend's website. You could get you one of them. You could get your own bird nest bib. On a t-shirt, that is. You ain't getting this one, no. Anyway. You check out his stuff while you're there. He does that cutesy wootsy anime comic book shenanigans. Yeah, you might be into that. I don't know, but check it out while you're there. But you know you went there for the big red stuff. Anyway, there's also a physical address where you can send me hate mail, love mail, fan mail, 
Uh, Valentine's is coming up. You can send me a Valentine's. I don't know. You can send me something you want me to review, a recipe you want me to try to cook. doesn't matter. If you want to send me something, they got a physical address for that. If not, don't worry about it. It's all good gravy, baby. Anyway, I want to thank each and every one of y'all from the bottom of the big fat belly to the top of the almost bald dome. Thanks for hanging out with your boy for another episode of the gas station grubbing. And, uh... I need y'all to do me that favor now that we got all that out the way. Tell your ma, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma. Share the video with your family and friends. Show them how you get down with Big Red. We got three empty seats we could fill up if y'all spread the word like Thunderbird. Help a brother out, you know. Click them ads, watch them ads. Tell your friends about me, you know what it is. You know what it is. Spread the word like Thunderbird. Anyway, I gots to go. Big Red out for another big for another episode of this big fat boy doing a gas station grubbing. I'll see y'all next time when I need to fill up the tank. I'm out.